Welcome Cancer, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for a quick look-see into your love and money matters. We're gonna start as usual with some bay leaf to cleanse the air. Anyone who's not here for our highest good will leave this room right now. And we're bathing in the divine white light of protection. And I call in my higher self to give me the answers we need for Cancer to know what's next in store on their highest possible spiritual path. Let's see, we'll take the Lightseer's Tarot deck. And we're gonna see what's in store for you, Cancer. Cancer, please. First of all, I'd like to know what's going on in love. Love for Cancer. Love, thank you. Ooh, the lovers, the Hierophant and the Tower. Okay, wow. <laughs> All three are major arcana cards. What's going on in money, money and career? We've got temperance. What else do we have? Ten of Cups in the reversed and the Nine of Wands. Okay, we're done shuffling. We'll go right into your reading. So Cancer, here is your reading. In Love, you had three major arcana cards, the Lovers, the Hierophant and the Tower. This is a very interesting combination. Well, let's start with interpreting the Lovers card. The Lovers is a card of Gemini, of air signs in general, so maybe you have to do with the Gemini here in your life. Um, it can also mean that you're weighing your options, that you have different choices concerning love, and that you have to make decisions. In either in your partnership or if you're single between different partners, whatever it is, you have expansion in union. So if you are in a relationship, this would mean that this is a powerful connection and that you guys are planning for the future. Um, also, you have the Hierophant. The Hierophant can mean marriage. So, as you have the Tower here as well, Tower can speak about surprises. So maybe you are very surprised to get a marriage proposal of someone. So either if you're single, somebody's coming to you and saying, listen, I would like to be in a relationship with you. And you are like, what? I never thought that you would say this to me. So maybe one of your, somebody you consider your best friend is asking you to go out on a date. Or if you are in a relationship, this could be a surprise marriage proposal. Because the Hierophant is a card of commitment and also a card of the, you know, the established, let's say, religions or the established convention in the world. So things that have been here since ancient times and which humans have always done. This is a little bit the card of conservative mindset, you know. Um, with the Hierophant, this is by the way a Taurus card, so maybe you have a Taurus around you. It can also just mean that you're going to that you're basically living in new paradigms. So maybe for your, if you're single and you're planning to go into a relationship, you are maybe setting your mind very differently than you have done in the past because you were looking at your life and doing some, you know, recalibrating on, on what you really want in life. So maybe you're starting with a brand new paradigm. You're saying, okay, all the things that I used to need in the past are not the things I, used, I, I do use now or I do need now. I have different needs, which is why I have to communicate in a brand new paradigm. I have to tell this to my partner in another way because otherwise I'm gonna have the same things as I had in the past, which are not for my highest good anymore. Also, this card can just mean that you are getting into ancient history, that you're reading all of the books, that you are um, looking into alchemy, that you are trying to find out something about metaphysical things. Yeah, it doesn't always have to do uh, anything with relationship, but as this card came up in the in the region of love, when I was asking for love, 
I would definitely say there could be some kind of surprise. Yeah, actually, let's say it like this. The tower is just a neutral surprise card. So it doesn't have to mean certainly a bad or certainly a good surprise. It can be any surprise. Yeah, so um, with the tower card, this is a card of transformation. And also it's a card of starting over from solid ground because the tower takes away what used to be on what used to be built on sand and it just gives you the opportunity to build your dream on a very solid ground to um, do it next time with a more stable foundation than you had before so this is very very good both for people who are single and for people who are in a relationship also, when I was asking for money, the temperance card came out, but it fell right on top of the cards that have been there for the love section. So the temperance could also mean that you're trying to balance out your relationship. Yeah, because if something there was a little unbalanced, you will find a way to communicate what, what is needed right now, what you need in your heart, what you need your partner to do. Then let's go to your money reading. So the first card that fell when I was asking for money was the Temperance card. I'm going to show you here. With Temperance, this is a card of Sagittarius, of fire signs in general, and this is a card of adapting to change. So maybe in your money life, you have been going through a change. Maybe your salary has changed maybe your job has changed maybe your position inside a company has changed maybe you have gone through some kind of other work change maybe you do you did something before but now you have done a new education and you do something very else and now you're adapting to that change and you're recalibrating your your new situation you're just balancing out your new situation you're um, tapping into the divine flow of life into the divine timing why do I say this? Because the temperance card in the original tarot is depicted with a woman who has her toe dipped into water. So this is a card of trusting the universe with what it's bringing to you. And it's also a card of balance in the, in the section of how you're paid and what you get back, what you get in return for what you do. So you want to find a a position of balance where you get equal give and take where both sides you and the other side like customer and business owner yeah get something out of it so you want to create a win-win situation and there has been uh well you, you basically have to think of do no harm but take no s h i t yeah um, and here with the Ten of Cups, there probably was some form of dispute about how much money do you get for your work? How much money do you get for your product? How much time do you have to invest and what do you get in return? So maybe there was some dispute about when you were doing overtime, you would have liked the money, but instead the company said, ah, ah, we're just going to give you some, some day off. Yeah, and you were like, eh, that's actually not what I need right now. This is not really the best situation. So there has been some kind of dispute and delay. Yeah, maybe you were waiting for the money to come and it just didn't come. The payment you were waiting for is just, you're sitting there waiting. Yeah, so it's talking about delays and disputes uh, and problems to find a win-win situation for everyone. But with the nine of wands here, you have resilience. You have, you stand there saying like, I have all the time in the world. I can wait this out. I still have uh, my resilience. I have my strength. Yes, I might be a little bit of a wounded warrior here, but I will do one final push towards my goal. So this is a card saying, do not give up now. Yeah, just don't give up. If there is, for example, some payment still due and you didn't get it yet, then don't give up asking for it. Yeah, just not to not to get them the other side angry, but rather to say, listen, I'm still here waiting. I'm still standing here. Where's my money? You actually promised me to get it two weeks ago. Where is it? Yeah. So there's nothing bad about asking um, for fairness because you need this balance here. And this is the point which you want to reach concerning your money and career. So you're working on this dispute. Another thing that this could mean, this card constellation, is, for example, 
mediation because the temperance card is a card of being a mediator between two parties so let's say you're a judge and there is a couple coming to you that's saying please we want to get divorced and we have some decisions to make we cannot do it alone we need you as a judge so you will be there like okay um, I will try to find balance to find a win-win situation for everyone I will try to to make this conflict go away so that is your position you are in the position of the mediator somebody who helps others to get along this could also be a meaning of this card constellation yeah so either you're directly involved in this imbalance or not you could also be the third party which is just trying to make amends here so this is definitely saying do not give up it's not your time to give up yet. You are still, you still have the power to keep on fighting, even though you're a little bit of a wounded warrior concerning your money and career here. But it looks very, very good on the love side. So this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for already more than 2,300 subscribers. If you wanna subscribe, click that little bell button so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. And please remember, you're a powerful manifester, you're a wonderful being, you can do so much and please keep your vibration as high as possible I know it's hard very hard for me at the moment <laughs> but please keep on trying thank you so much and I'll see you soon bye